got a million things pulling on my heart Cause my love is gone It's pretty amazing that as you're studying to be a cardiologist you decide, wait a second, and you go for your love of music. How does that happen? Well, the music thing wasn't new. I was the little girl who locked myself in my room and learned to every word to every song on the top 40. Um, I've always loved to sing, uh, but it was just kind of a private thing for me, um, partly because my parents were both doctors and I felt like that was probably what I was going to do too, and music seemed like something you do as a hobby. Um, I went through college, I was a chemistry major and pre-med, um, but I always had a cappella group envy. Um, and finally, my last year of college, I was studying for a physics test and I got an email that there were tryouts in 15 minutes for this group. So I left all my books in the library and I just went over and tried out for the group. Um, and I made the group and it was really a life-changing thing for me. It was the first time I felt um, like I was with people who were my people, you know? I felt like I fit in, I felt so liberated to be singing out loud. Um, and at that point I already had plans to go to med school. Um, so when I graduated, as a way to um, keep singing, I bought a guitar and started learning myself, learn, teaching myself how to play. Um, I went through med school, I went through residency, um, and I fit in music wherever I could, although of course I was pretty busy. Uh, but I did some open mic nights in Boston. Um, I was in a production of Hair. Um, in which we totally did the full Monty. <laughs> Woo! Wow. Um, yeah, and um, when I moved to Philly for my cardiology fellowship, it was a hard transition because um, I didn't know anyone, and the only people I met were people at the hospital. Um, so I didn't have any music friends, um, whereas in Boston I had assembled a kind of music community for myself, and it made me um, miss music and realize even more how important it was for me. Um, and when I finished my clinical training and I finally had my nights and weekends free, I started going to see music all the time. I started meeting some great people in the local Philly scene and um, never intending to write songs. I never told anyone I could sing, but I just needed that community. Um, and then finally one day I was jamming with a friend of mine I met at the gym and um, playing covers and he said, Susie Brown, why are you not writing songs with how you sing? I just can't believe you don't have something to say. I said, well, of course I have something to say. I just don't want to, like, write something terrible, you know? I was so afraid to write a cheesy love song. Um, and he said, well, of course you're going to write a terrible song, you know? Everyone does. That's not what it, you know, you can get over that right now. Of course some of them will be bad. But um, that's not what it's about. Don't be such a perfectionist. And um, that was kind of the moment where I realized it's not about, that part of my life is not about being perfect. It's about being honest and expressing something that I have. So I wrote my first song a couple weeks after that. I broke up with a guy and I figured if I can't write a song when I feel like this, I'll never write a song. Um, and I played it at an open mic night and that was it. It was like crack. <laughs> go back after that. <laughs> you know, but this was really hard because everyone in your family pretty much sounds like they're doctors. Mm -hmm. So you're really breaking a little bit with yep. that, even yep. though you are a doctor. Yep. Yeah, uh, I mean, I think my parents are, gr I'm lucky, my parents are great. And um, I wasn't happy, I was in a, working in a lab at the time I started writing songs um, because my plan had been to be a basic scientist part, you know, as part of my career and then see patients the rest. And I wasn't happy in the lab. And as soon as I started playing music, I was happy in a way I had never been. And, um, and when I decided to, I basically decided that music made me too happy to not make more time for it. I would just be crazy. Do you, so, now, do you think, because I'm really interested in your story because I feel like a lot of people put themselves in a box mm -hmm. and feel like there's no way to get out of that and also that you can't be two or three different things. But well, that's really not true. Yeah, it's not true, it's, you know, especially if you plan ahead. I, I got lucky that I chose a specialty where... Um, I could work part-time and support myself enough. You know, when I, when I made this choice, I had no idea any of this was going to happen. I had probably written four or five songs, and I just felt like music makes me too happy to not make some time for it. I'm young. I could get hit by a bus, or I could get cancer in a few years, and if I don't do this now, I'm never going to forgive myself. So I didn't know if I was going to find a part-time job. I didn't know what I was going to find, but I just decided, you know what, if I don't ask for it, I'm never going to get it. So I just went out looking, with, figured I'd do it for a year or two, see what happens. And now I can't imagine my life any other way.
what do you tell other young people who are just also frustrated and feel like they can't really decide what they want to do? They're interested in a lot of different things. Well, I think you have to be practical. You know, I think it's a balance between something that you love and feel passionate about and something that, practically speaking, will pay the bills and allow you a life you want. Um, I think as you get older, it gets harder and harder to do something you don't really love. So, you know, in your 20s, you can do just about anything, you know, because who cares? But it, that becomes a lot harder. It becomes a lot harder to spend time with people you don't really like. Um, so I think those are important things to think about when you're choosing a career. Choose something that you feel a sense of inspiration from and choose something that has people that you enjoy spending time with and, um, and make time wherever you can for other things that you feel are important. And again, to those who might feel stuck, mm -hmm. feel like they might like to do something else, but they're afraid to take the risk, what would you, you tell them? You live once. There are no rules. The only rule is if you're happy, you win. And that's the, that's the point. You know, if you're not happy and there's a way to make a change, you're only doing yourself a disservice not to do it. I can't imagine my life if I hadn't done this. I honestly can't.